Hi guys, this is Marvin from ShopSetupPage.com and today we're going to do an unboxing and review of this laptop vacuum cooler. Let's get to it! Welcome back guys and let's do the unboxing. At the back of the box, we have some information about the features like game style, game radiation weapon, strong heat radiation, and some other weird translations. But we also have some useful information here like the specifications of the vacuum cooler. I'll pop this information on the screen so you can pause and take a look at it. Now, let's take a look at what's inside. So inside the box, we have the power cable. We also have these three different sizes of rubber sealer that we're going to need to properly attach the vacuum cooler to our laptop. I'm going to show you the difference in sizes later. Moving on inside the box, we have a couple more items. We have this rubber padding and this plastic mount that as per the pictures I've seen will be sliding under the vacuum cooler to provide more grip. And then finally, we have the vacuum cooler itself. At first glance, it looks fancy and has that gamery look on it. The overall construction of this product seems to be made of plastic, but it looks durable nonetheless. Let's take a close-up look at it. So at the top, we have the product name, which is Cool Cold, seems legit. And at the bottom, we have this three rubber padding. At the side, we have this power port here. In front, we have the vacuum intake. And at the back, we have the exhaust. We also have this control switch here, where you can turn the device on and off, as well as control the fan speed. So as I've mentioned earlier, we have this plastic mount and we're going to install it on the vacuum cooler. So this attaches to the bottom, like so and then we can slide it under the laptop. The package includes three different sizes of rubber sealers. We have the small, medium, and large that would fit in most laptops. Installing the vacuum cooler on the laptop is pretty straightforward. You just slide it in, make sure the rubber sealer sits perfectly on the laptop's exhaust, plug the included power cord into a USB port, turn on the fan, and you're good to go. Now, when it comes to the fan noise, as you can hear, it's kinda loud as expected. And I'm going to assume that most of us will just turn the fan at its fastest speed to maximize the effectiveness of this device. Don't worry as during gaming, you won't notice the fan noise at all. That leads us to the effectiveness of this device during gaming. At idle, with and without the cooler, the difference in temperature is just around 4 degrees at max. But during gaming, that's the time we can see a huge difference with the temperature. Playing CSGO without the cooler, my laptop's temperature at max is a whopping 81 degrees. And using the laptop vacuum cooler, it dropped 10 degrees at 71 at max. And for me, that's a significant improvement, especially if you're going to play for a long period of time. So, is it worth it to attach this contraption on your laptop? I would say yes, and I would definitely recommend it. It is also portable so you can bring this anywhere with your laptop and game on the go without having to worry about frying your machine while gaming. If there's one thing to be determined for this device is its longevity. If it can last a long time and withstand the heat, it dissipates. But for its price, it's definitely worth the shot. And there you have it guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to check the full article, link on the description below. Subscribe if you like this, and see you next time. Thank you, have a great day.